Yeah, I mean, it's interesting what you're talking about, I think, is the internal problem or challenge, I suppose, in terms of incorporating security into the development process, which is really so much hinges on speed and um, fast development, but efficient development. And, you know, how do you draw the balance? I think this is a, a more general security question, but I think there's always the balance of how much risk you accept. And you are in an environment working with a customer where that has not been the culture for defense to accept any element of risk. Um, is there a balance now, do you feel, and how do you as a company and a partner of DOD balance that? Yeah, there, I mean, there, there is a risk, you know, like we, we were, you were asking about vendors a moment ago and, and, you know, we have some kind of unique requirements when we bring a new vendor in there's, there's questions about, it's like, you know, where, where does this vendor, where is this vendor located? Where, where does the software originate? Like, what is its provenance? What is the supply chain for the components that go into that vendor that, you know, those are important questions to ask. They take time to, uh, to get the answer to. Um, and we can only automate, you know, so much of finding that information out. Um, and so I think that the, the biggest thing that, that I've seen from a, you know, what's the best way to find a balance is starting with the, starting with having security folks on the team. Um, you know, in the cases where we, we maybe started out and we didn't have access to a security person who could, who could, you know, come in and look at what we were doing early, um, you know, we, we shifted more toward that, that speed side. Um, and then later on in the process, when the when security does become involved, they have a lot of stuff to go back and look at. And all of a sudden you feel like you're at a standstill and you're going the other way into, you know, less of, you know, more of a risk averse, less able to deliver stuff kind of, kind of process. If you start out with the security person on the team and you build that relationship with them over time, um, you know, they feel like they have input into this is really the most important stuff. No, you guys cannot ignore this. Yes, this must be fixed immediately. Um, but, you know, then the other things that they say, okay, I would really prefer that you fix this, but I recognize that it's lower risk. You know they're more willing to make those kind of trade-offs, and and I think I think that relationship and that you know team building uh, contributes to that in a, in a big way.